In this tutorial, we're going to implement the put and the delete request for the topic resource. So um, I'm going to copy this existing method out and uh, I'm going to change this to a update topic because that's what a put request will do. And of course, I'm going to change the method. If there is a put to slash topics slash ID, I want that particular ID to change. So there are these changes that I need to do to this method. So first of all, uh, the URL is going to be slash topic slash ID. The request method is going to be a put. The request body is still going to contain the topic like the post request did. When you make a put request to slash topic slash ID, the request body is going to contain the updated topic. But now, since I'm using a different URL, I'm using the slash ID URL and the ID is a parameter, I need to accept a path variable just like I'm doing it over here. So I'm just going to copy this as well. That's going to be an additional method argument to the update topic method in the controller. Right, so I'm going to take this and now what I need to do is create an update topic method on the service which takes in the ID as well as the new topic. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to say update topic and I'm going to pass in two parameters. One is the ID and the other is the topic. Now this method obviously does not exist. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. Uh, I get the auto generated method here and now in this method I'm going to use uh, a simple for loop to loop through the list of topics and uh, get the one which has the ID same as the input ID and then update the topic in it. So I'm going to use a for loop here. I'm mixing this up. Uh, I used the streams and lambda here, but here I'm going to use a simple for loop. And i equals zero, i less than If the ID matches in a particular uh, topic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that. So I'm going to say topics dot set add that element. I'm going to set the new topic, and I'll just return. All right. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to loop through AVD topic depending on the size of the topic it's going to loop through that many topics and for each topic in that list it's going to compare the id with the input id that we've got and if it matches that at that location i'm going to send the updated topic i'm going to set it to the list and i'm just going to return all right so this is going to be the service and now that i have the updated service this controller is actually believe it or not it's done now you get the id from the parameter or uh, the path variable sorry and you get the topic from the post body and it updates it now let's go ahead and try this out I'm going to start the server let's get the topics first now we have three topics over here let's say I want to update JavaScript I'm going to copy over the JSON payload change this to a post request to slash topics slash JavaScript a put request sorry and in the request body what I'm gonna do is put in an updated value just gonna update the name and the description I could of course update the ID as well I'm not checking anything here but I'm just gonna update the name and the description in this case so I'm gonna make a put request now uh, the headers already has the content type as application slash JSON so I'm making a put to topics slash JavaScript. I hit send. Of course, I don't get anything back in the response because the method is a void. But let's say I want to do a get request again to slash topics. Now here you see the JavaScript topic has been updated with the payload in the put request. So that's update and that's the put. Now delete is actually something very very similar so let's copy over this guy here 
Now, when you make a delete, you make a request to topics slash ID. I'm going to call this delete topic. And uh, the request method would be a delete. So instead of a put here, I'm going to change it to a delete. The thing to note, though, is the method name in the controller really doesn't matter, as you must have observed. I can give it any arbitrary name over here. These names really don't matter. It's just that you have a name, you have a method, and you have the right annotation on that method and the right uh, input arguments, and it's doing the right thing. That's what matters. The name itself really doesn't matter. So let's say I call a topic service dot delete topic of the ID. So I'm going to go ahead and create that method here because this can be a uh, wide as well. And I'm just going to get the topics array and uh, I'm use the remove if option. The remove if method takes in a predicate lambda expression and removes all topics in the list where the predicate is true. So in this case, the predicate is basically uh, for a topic if the get id is equal to the input id. So in the sense it's pretty much the same predicate as what you're doing to filter over here. Here you're just doing a remove. Alright, so this is the delete topic method and now my of course I don't have to return anything here. I'm gonna make this a void as well. All right, so this is done. I'm going to restart the server. Now I'm going to go back to get all the topics. Well, the JavaScript thing that I changed is back because we didn't persist it, which is fine. Now what I'm going to do is make a post request to slash topics. Uh, this was the post request we did earlier. I'm going to add Java E into the list. Get again, get all the topics. And now we have Java E. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the topic that I added. So I'm going to make a delete request to slash topics slash Java E. And of course, I don't need anything in the request body. I could just delete this off. The header still has content type application JSON. Now I'm making a delete to topic slash Java E. I make a request. Of course, nothing is gotten back, but I make a get to slash topics again, Java E goes away. I can make one more delete request to JavaScript. So let's say I make a delete to slash topics slash JavaScript. I hit send and if I were to get all the topics again, now JavaScript goes away as well. So this is how the delete request works. So these are the standard methods for any typical resource in a REST API. So you have the get on the root resource URL, the collection resource URL, which is the slash topics, which gets everything, right? Uh, you also have the individual fetch, which is the slash topics slash ID, which gets that individual topic. You have the post to the collection URL, which creates a new topic. We have the put to a single resource URL which updates that resource, that topic, and you have a delete to the single resource URL which deletes that topic. So this should give you an idea of how to create these methods in Spring MVC. Again, here what we're doing is working off of a hard-coded list, but uh, that's gonna change in a subsequent unit. I want you to focus on the controller itself and how you were able to create a simple controller which handles different methods by adding the right kind of annotations. In the next unit, we're going to take a slight detour. We're going to look at how you can create a Spring Boot application. The other various ways in which you can create a Spring Boot application. We looked at one such way in unit one, which was creating a simple Maven project and then adding the right dependencies. But there are a bunch of other ways you can create them. So we're going to take a look at that. And in the unit after that, we're going to get back to this application and uh, do some database work. But in the next unit, we're going to look at a few more ways in which you can create a Spring Boot application. See you then.